friends, and welcome to the lecture on CRM, Emerging Perspective. After this lecture, we will be able to learn the following objectives. Explain the employee-organization relationship. Define the factors of customer-oriented behavior. Understand the essentials of building employee relationships. Understand service recovery management. Explain the CRM impact on customers. Understand customer recall management. Explain the important CRM softwares. Let's start with a brief introduction of CRM. Customer Relationship Management, or CRM, has attracted the expanded attention of practitioners and scholars. More and more companies are adopting customer-centric strategies, programs, tools, and technology for efficient and effective customer relationship management. They are realizing the need for in-depth and integrated customer knowledge in order to build close, cooperative, and partnering relationships with their customers. The emergence of new channels and technologies is significantly altering how companies interface with their customers. A development bringing about a greater degree of integration between marketing, sales, and customer service functions in organizations. For practitioners, CRM represents an enterprise approach to developing full knowledge about customer behavior and preferences, and to developing programs and strategies that encourage customers to continually enhance their business relationship with their company. Let us now discuss the employee-organization relationship. The implicit conjecture in most studies is that the individual employee and the organization enter into a relationship. However, since the organization is made up of multiple potential exchange partners, for example agents, it is not clear who the employee considers when answering questions about this relationship. This is partially a methodology problem, since research on the EOR has almost exclusively used surveys and asks participants questions about the organization. Employee-Customer Linkage In an employee mirror study, employees complete the same or very similar survey as customers. They are instructed to answer the questions as they think customers will respond. If the employees are on the mark, meaning their answers match up with how customers responded, they can accurately represent the voice of the customer within the organization to mitigate problems before they happen. If the employees are not in sync with the customers, perceptions can vary significantly and can provide different or even contrary stories about performance. Linking employee engagement to customer loyalty. As a business leader, one spends a lot of time worrying about how one can improve the customer experience, deepen the relationship, and entice them to come back more often and share more of their wallet with the company. The hidden driver of customer satisfaction in sales. A recent conference board study found that four out of 10 of today's employees feel disconnected from their employers and a quarter come to work just for the paycheck. Employee disengagement is resulting in a largely unproductive workforce. 
Factors Affecting Employees' Customer-Oriented Behavior Saxon Waite suggests that customer orientation is the degree to which an organization or its employees focus their efforts on understanding and satisfying customers. Stock and Hoyer view customer-oriented behavior as the extent to which service employees use their marketing concepts for helping customers to make purchase decisions, as well as satisfying their needs. Job satisfaction and its effect on customer-oriented behavior. One defines job satisfaction as an extent of effective reaction to which customer contact employees like their jobs. The effect theory of social exchange contends that emotions are a core feature of social exchange process, which individuals engage in to show reciprocal behaviors and support parties from whom they benefit. Job involvement and its effect on customer-oriented behavior. One defines job involvement as the extent to which customer contact employees consider their job to be an essential part of their lives. Job stress and its effect on customer-oriented behavior. Job stress is an extent of harmful effective reaction to which service employees do not match the job requirement with their capabilities or resources themselves. One expects job stress will negatively affect customer-oriented behavior. Essentials of building employee relationship. An employee's attachment to his or her job, colleagues, and organization greatly influences how someone performs at work. Engaged employees act in ways that further the interests of their organizations. Employee confidence. The Employee Confidence Index, which measures employee optimism about his or her company, stands at 81.4, down from 84.3 in 2009. Employee Connection The Employee Connection Index measures an employee's commitment to his or her company. This year's index is 83.5, a decline from last year's 86.7. The research indicates that while executive communication and engagement play a role in determining an employee's connection to their employer, it is also important for the employee to feel comfortable sharing information and ideas. Employer Connection and Commitment The employer connection measures an employee's perception of how committed their company is to her or him. Consistent with the 2009 results, the Employer Connection Index is significantly lower than the Employee Connection. What accounts for the connection gap? Poor ratings on three elements help explain the gap. The executive team in the company supports and values. The company's executive team exemplifies authentic, open, and honest communication receive consistent information from all of the leaders in the company. Communication from supervisors trumps CEO efforts. Employees rate the quality, 51% said it was excellent, and frequency, 56% of the communication they received from their immediate supervisors. These ratings are significantly higher than the quality 42% excellent, and frequency 37% of the communication they received from their CEOs. Advice for senior leaders. The survey results provide valuable insights senior leaders can use to improve their employee engagement, communication strategies, and management practices. Company leaders can better lead and engage by living the company values. Supporting and living the company values is a key driver in improving employee confidence and closing the employee-employer connection gap. Sharing the vision. Employees who know where the company is going and how they can help get the company there are by nature more engaged with their company.
Importance of Essentials of Building Employee Relationship Number 1. Communication A manager with strong communication skills is able to instruct as well as he listens. Leadership Leadership is a crucial attribute that many managers lack despite their job title. Adaptability The ability to adapt also contributes to a manager's effectiveness. Relationship building Effective managers should strive to build personal relationships with their teams. Orienting employees during their first few days is an essential step in a management best practice that every business should incorporate into their hiring process no matter how small your business is. Your new employee orientation does not need to be formal and you know it, it certainly can be but it doesn't need to be. What is most important is that you have a plan or a system in place to ensure that your new staff are introduced to your company culture and have an opportunity to learn about the policies that are in place that affect them. Now, depending on the size of the company or the company practices, your orientation may include some type of training also. A new employee orientation gives you the opportunity to help your new employee feel integrated into your business. They need an opportunity to have at least a baseline understanding of your vision and your expectations. And in today's episode, I'll share a tip sheet of sorts that can be used to meet with employees either one-on-one -on -one or it can be used as a blueprint for a more formal orientation. So let's dive into a few tips on how to best orient new staff. Tip number one. Welcome your new employee to the company and share with them the history of the company as well as your organization's mission, vision, and values. You want to let your new employee know, if possible, how their role contributes to the mission of the business, if it's appropriate to do so at this stage in the orientation. And I think it it's always a, a good idea to um, give employees a sense, even it's a, if it's a very general sense, how their role contributes. Tip number two, share the organizational structure of your company. So what I mean by that is who is the owner of the company? Are there other individuals who help the owner run the company? Are there other departments or divisions within your organization? How many employees work at the company? Employees are an extension of the company and they should know these basic facts. Tip number three, discuss company policies. This is a good time for you to give your new employee an employee handbook if you have one or sit down with them as you go over any policies that you have online or in hard copy form. Tip number four, discuss their job with them to make sure that they understand their responsibilities. Let your new employee know, know that you are available to reach out to if they have any questions or concerns or let them know who in the organization they can reach out to for that type of information. If you aren't able to speak to your new employee one-on-one -on -one during the orientation because you're orienting a larger group, be sure that em the employee supervisor has this important conversation with them. Tip number five. Give your new employee the lay of the land, so to speak, by sharing with them where the key offices are located in your company or who they can speak to when they need to learn specific information on how to get their work done. Tip number six, personally show them around the office or assign someone to do this, as I referenced in an earlier tip. Make sure that your new staff member is introduced to the key personnel in your organization, but don't neglect to introduce them to other business colleagues that they may not necessarily work with day to day, but who they may see in the hallways or in the cafeteria, because um, it's important for them to have an understanding of who's who in the organization. Now, this is a very short list of tips. You may want to add any other steps that are important for your particular company. Employee customer orientation. Employee orientation. During the past few decades, the term employee orientation has been used to describe a view of employees as partners in the effort of the firm to achieve organizational success in the marketplace. CRM and employee orientation. A synthesis bearing in mind the four employee oriented elements of OC and the CRM sub processes discussed. 
develops a theoretical understanding of how specific elements of OC may be expected to affect subprocesses of CRM. Employee-oriented assumptions convey that organizational members are expected to be supportive of one another and interested in fulfilling each other's needs in the work setting. Employee-oriented behaviors. Making CRM succeed. Employee-oriented behaviors of behavior-based performance evaluation and training and development of employees appear to positively influence aspects of the performance measurement, as well as information and value creation sub-processes of CRM. Employee orientation and performance. The evidence provided insights into the positive relationship between employee orientation and aspects of CRM performance, such as quality and service delivery and customer firm interactions, customer satisfaction and retention. Did you know, as the first scholar to study general theory development in the field of public relations, Marianne Ferguson investigated the main foci in public relations research. Now we will study the impact on services. Customer relationship management, or CRM, is one of the key strategic tools for companies to enhance their relationship with customers. There is a significant impact of CRM implementation on customer services through improvement of customer service, efficiency, and effectiveness. Nevertheless, impact of CRM implementation on service operations management has not been addressed in literature. The conceptual model of adapted technology facilitated service encounter is proposed from literature review and in-depth study of two models, which are the service encounter triad and technology and service encounter model. Service failure. To create and maintain satisfied customers, the primary goal of a service organization in the generosity industry should be to operate to a standard of quality and excellence, therefore doing things right the first time. However, it only stands to reason that the intangible nature creates an environment where things can frequently go wrong. Thus, service failures can occur. Service failure defined. The concept of unhappiness in service has been researched extensively. Dissatisfactory experiences have been labeled as negative incidents or unproductive processes that trigger failed encounters, which in turn cause the customer to realize that the service has not met their expectations. Responses to service failures. Consumer responses to service failures are a function of consumer value orientation. It has identified two aspects of the universal values, face consciousness, or FC, and fate submissiveness, or FS. Two types of service failures were also identified as process and outcome. The findings show that the interaction of FC with failure type is significant although there is not the direct effect of FC on consumers' overall dissatisfaction with service failure. Service Recovery Management An overhaul is an act or performance that one party can offer to another that is essentially intangible and does not result in the ownership of anything. Its production may or may not tie to a physical item for consumption. Customer Recovery Recent assistance shows that perceived justice is a significant factor in service recovery evaluations. Process recovery. Learning from failures may be more important than simply recovering individual customers because process improvements that influence customer satisfaction represent the most significant means of creating bottom line impacts through recovery. Employee recovery. Although most organizations are aware of external service recovery, they are poor at their internal service recovery, namely supporting their employees in their difficult task of dealing with complaining customers. 
Importance of Service Recovery Service recovery has received concentration for over 20 years within service management and service marketing. Goal of Service Recovery The goal of service recovery is to identify customers with issues and then to address those issues to the customer satisfaction to promote customer retention. Service Recovery Paradox The service recovery paradox refers to situations in which the overall satisfaction levels of recovered customers exceed those of customers who did not encounter any problems with the initial service. The literature review shows that the paradox is found only under very special circumstances, indicating that it is a rare or even extreme incident. Did you know Tax and Brown argues that a significant factor is the use of information technology to be able to register and follow up complaints? Let's now learn the impact on customers. Most customers prefer good service to lower prices. There are situations where one is prepared to pay a little extra to get a better or more efficient service. Companies that give these added service benefits are likely to be winners. They have a competitive advantage over rivals. Enterprise believes that customer satisfaction is an investment. It is the equivalent to research and development in a manufacturing company. Customer service is an important part of the culture of enterprise. Going the extra mile. The ESQI system is managed by a team at enterprise specifically set up for this purpose. The team uses an independent telephone survey company to provide the survey results. Customer lifetime value. Customer lifetime value, or CLV, is both a concept and a measure. At its core, CLV is about optimizing each interaction and conversation in order to create an engaged customer relationship, which drives customer retention, repeat purchases, customer referrals, reduce support costs, and possibly even price premiums. Why Customer Lifetime Value Matters Improving the customer experience is good for business in terms of increasing CLV and wallet share and for internal operations. Specifically, the onboarding of a customer within the support stage represents many potential opportunities and pitfalls for the company. Businesses have up to seven times the number of interactions with customers during onboarding than in any other step in the support stage. Customers are five times more likely to accept complementary products and offerings during onboarding than in any other step in the support stage. Businesses have a 30 to 50% higher probability of retaining the customer in the onboarding step. Customers have a 5 to 10% defection rate during the onboarding process. Customer profitability. Apart from the financial services industry, profiling customer profit contribution or potential for profit at the individual level is rarely practiced. Customers and profit. Customer profitability analysis provides a method to help firms see and understand the profitability of their customers. Customer profitability analysis worth the effort. John Murphy found that where organizations do take the time and trouble to understand customer profitability at the individual level, they're in a much stronger position to make informed judgments about how they would like their customer portfolio to develop. The CPA. Murphy and his colleagues recommend that before getting started, the senior management has to realize that they have an issue with customer profitability. Customer recall management. Protect the customers and the value of the brand. Implementing a smart, strategic recall campaign is essential to minimizing damage to the brand and keeping the customers safe from harm. 
service that drives customer loyalty. Through our recall management solutions, Alaric becomes a seamless extension of the brand, providing caring and informed support to the affected consumers around the clock. Customer experience management. Customers experience positive consequences of service processes as benefits, while negative consequences are experienced as perceived risks. Rural CRM. It established the CRM in 1992 with the following objectives, to build new rural management knowledge in order to provide creative instruments of intervention, particularly in the areas of education, health, rural enterprises, and infrastructure. Create a new and appropriate breed of professional leaders who have the capability of making rural society vibrant through capacity building, enterprise, and business development. When running a business, it is important to keep track of the clients and all of the interactions with them. It is equally important to get attention to investors, pay vendors, track employee workflow, and much more. CRM software, what to look for. When buying CRM software, one has the option to purchase a program that is hosted on their own server or is cloud-based. Contact management. Every CRM software solution includes features that lets one create individual client accounts and track interactions with them. Employee tracking and support. One great feature found in the best CRM software is the ability to track the employee's interactions with the customers. SAP. The SAP CRM solution is a fully integrated customer relationship management software manufactured by SAP AG that targets businesses' software requirements of mid-size and large organizations for nearly all industries and sectors. Now in the end, let us summarize what we have learned in this lecture. The implicit conjecture in most studies is that the individual employee and the organization enter into a relationship. During the past two decades, the term employee orientation has been used to describe a view of employees as partners in the effort of the firm to achieve organizational success in the marketplace. Customer Relationship Management, or CRM, is one of the key strategic tools for companies to enhance their relationship with customers. There is a significant impact of CRM implementation on customer services through improvement of customer service efficiency and effectiveness. Service recovery comes into play when something in a service delivery goes wide of the mark. Most customers prefer good service to lower prices. Think about all the situations where one is prepared to pay a little bit extra to get a better or more efficient service. Companies that give these added service benefits are likely to be winners. Technology trends have made it easier to keep track of all of these and many more tasks on a daily basis. But customer relations management, or CRM software, is the best way to keep track of everything in the business without drowning in multiple software programs and apps.